new bike day. This is my new Canyon bike. We're gonna uh, put it together and we're gonna shoot the crap. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring you along for this uh, this fun little journey of mine. So uh, let's get to it. First new bike day in a lot of years, and this time it is a bit different than uh, I guess all my previous new bike days. Um, I got a gravel bike finally after. Tons of friends trying to get me to uh, to dive in on the gravel bike world, and tons of friends trying to get me to get in on the road bike stuff. Um, we're here. It took a long time, but I finally got a bike. And today I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna make a, a video, and I pressed record, and the the idea is just to, to build it up and uh, talk a little bit about it, talk a little bit about my goals with it, and uh, I think it's time to dive right in. What do you say? So I ended up going with the Canyon. I went with the Grail. Um, not sure how familiar you are with the Canyon lineup, but always been a huge fan of the brand and um, yeah, kind of the design language of their bikes and, and all the tech and stuff that they put into them. They were running a incredible sale on their gravel bikes right now, surely to you know make room for next season stuff. Um, luckily, I'm a noob when it comes to all sorts of uh, gravel stuff, so I don't think that I've, it matters much for me, but yeah, so as soon as you open the box, you get one of these guys. This is tools and a little, uh, little pouch of grease, or as they like to call it, assembly paste. Horrible, horrible set of words. Paste. Anyways. Let's freaking get this thing pulled out. And uh, I'm gonna use this little table, hopefully. Use this little table as like my my workstation. Yeah, I don't have a bike assembly stand or anything here in, in Tennessee. Some wheels, get those guys set off to the side for now. First thing I am noticing is uh, reflectors. I forgot that complete bikes come with reflectors, so that's unfortunate. We're gonna have to get those puppies popped off as quickly as possible. Oh man, this is like, I haven't felt this excited about a new bike since, um, probably since I was 16 or something. If you're brand new on this channel, which I imagine most people watching this would be, I come from a BMX background, so my whole life for 10 or 15 years was riding BMX, and um, then it kind of moved on to mountain biking. But yeah, I competed for a long time in BMX. Yeah, then I moved on to mountain bikes and had a lot of fun with those with all my friends in Colorado. This felt like kind of the natural next step. I'm in Nashville now, but um, yeah, there's a lot of really cool trails and a lot of cool trails being built and infrastructure being built for, for cycling. So it's, it's really exciting and uh, oh my God. Somehow I just got even more excited. Yeah, it's just, it's a cool place to be at for, for this stuff right now. So um, a couple of my buddies are also diving into the road bike world or gravel ro uh, world with me. So I'm just like, I'm excited. I'm excited to get a little crew going. I'm excited to get some riding in and uh, yeah, just get this process rolling. This is like, like I said, first new bike in a long time. So I am, Stoking right now to say the very 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 least. Um, can I set this right here? Is that gonna be all right? What's this little SRAM box? Is my chargers and batteries and stuff? I have a feeling this video is gonna end up being a lot longer than uh, I planned it to be. So Canyon, one of my favorite things, and, and a lot of bike companies may do this, especially now. Oh yeah, baby. Hold on a second. That's my my battery and my charger. Um, a lot of companies may do this now, so if they do, I guess just like mention it in the comments and let me know, but I love the attention to detail in them as a company with all the cool stuff they do, one, all the athletes they support, um, and so on, but I just think it's so rad that they include things like a little torque wrench so you can get your bike built without needing, you know, to go spend 100 or 200 bucks on a, on a expensive torque wrench you know you can get this thing it can show up you can put it together with the tools they provide and i think that's so cool um i think a lot of bike companies or at least from my past uh you know in the bmx world or even the mountain bike world in the past could learn a lot from those small details that you know completely change the customer experience and and like i said maybe they have but um i think it's so sick I guess I could stop ADDing and, and get all the cardboard taken off first and then kind of go from there, but it's not how I operate. 
So we're just gonna go little by little. We're gonna dial this thing in and uh, we're gonna get freaking stoked together because, oh, you know what? I'm gonna use assembly paste. So one thing that I historically have always been bad about, admitting this on the internet, it's not, this isn't easy for me, but something I have been horrible about is bike maintenance. I'm usually good about putting them together. I'll get everything going. I'll put it together properly, use lubricant and all that boring stuff. And then uh, once it's done, it's done. I'll, you know, lube up my chain or all the easy stuff from there. But um, yeah, I'm really bad about bike maintenance. And I, you know, admittedly, I hate working on bikes. Um, weirdly enough, though, this is like really exciting for me right now. But my BMX bikes in the past, I, I hated working on them after after a while. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this one, though. All right, let's get this thing on. Get that thing going. It's crazy that they're that the bikes are packaged this well, and FedEx still figured out how to put holes in this box and scratch the bike. I I, I don't get it. I ship stuff for one of my companies. Um, we do freight shipping, um, and it blows my mind how good at breaking things FedEx is. Not that this is broken, but it's scratched, and I'm just. Sometimes I wonder what the heck they do with this stuff, you know? Kind of another really exciting piece to this whole thing. My good buddy Bill is uh, also getting a bike. He actually ordered a pretty similar bike on Canyon's site. So that's sick. One of my other buddies has already has a road bike. So we got a little crew already. And uh, we don't even have these things going yet. So I'm freaking amped up. I am stoked. If you were in the Nashville area, uh, it goes without saying, hit us up, drop a comment, shoot me an email, let's freaking link up, let's ride bikes, and let's uh, have a hell of a time. It's starting to look like a bike. All right, let's keep the process rolling, guys. One of my big motivations for something I really, really want to accomplish is a 100-mile ride. Um, that's, for some reason, in my head, like my the big first step that I want to take. Um, not first step. I know that's not the first step. That's not the thing that I'm going to do day one by any means, but it's like my my first big accomplishment that I want to that I want to achieve. Again, coming from Colorado where everyone rides bikes and all my friends rides bikes and stuff, they kind of mentioned like, dude, you're going to be able to ride, you know, like 20 miles on this thing is not going to be any problem at all. And that's such a crazy thought. Not because I think 20 miles is far necessarily, but just like in BMX and in even in mountain biking, like distance wasn't really the way we rode. We just, we would go out on rides and you know, you'd want to just climb and hit jumps. And um, I was a freestyle kid. So my priority was always like hitting jumps and that kind of stuff. Oh, this thing is beautiful. I know I didn't say it yet, but this is the Grail, the CF SL uh, AXS. Uh, that's alluding to the SRAM. Set up. Man, I'm so pumped. I can't stop looking at this thing. I don't even have it together yet, and I'm obsessing over it. Throw the seat. Throw some assembly paste on that old thing. Honestly, on the website, it said to put this on. I would never in a million years personally put grease, or as some call it, I'm learning, assembly paste. I would never put that on a seat post when I, I was building up a BMX bike. I didn't even know people did that. I guess I could have put this inside the seat too. What was I thinking? No idea how high or how low that should be, but we're just gonna put it there for now. Gonna get it started. If you're not familiar, um, BMX bikes are extremely, extremely simple. It's like eight bolts, you know? You're not you're not dealing with bolts and or a ton of bolts and a ton of hydraulics and this, that, and the other. You're dealing with like, straight up, you're dealing with a bolt on your cranks, two bolts on your stem, your wheels, and your pedals. So it's a, it's a different world completely. While it's exciting, I'm still a little stressed out about the fact that I'm gonna have to maintain these things regularly. And then I'm gonna flip it over, because that's what I saw the guy on the internet do. Oh, there's more scratches down here. What the heck, FedEx? All right, let me, let me go grab a knife. Okay, we're back. I'm just rambling at this point. That's kind of what this whole video is, but oh, I'm so freaking excited. So another goal of mine with this is since it's such a new journey, a new experience, something that 
I have, I don't know, it's just like just this whole new thing and I make these videos and I have a lot of fun making these videos. I kind of want to like document this process and document levels, my fitness levels and so on. I, I don't really have much of an interest in being like a, a too much of a nutcase about it, but I just want to document my journey with it and document my process. Um, so I think it could be really cool and hopefully, you know, get other people stoked on on uh, gravel riding maybe, making the switch from gravel to, or from BMX to gravel or mountain biking or whatever it is. Also building like a rad little uh, internet community around this, I think would be so fun. Um, and of course, if you're in the Nashville area, building a community around that, because that's where I'm at and that's where uh, I'm gonna be riding. The world of cycling is growing a lot here, so. Um, I think there's a lot of cool opportunity for that, of course. Um, for you, okay, let's see, is that a nice little bag? Got a bag. Oh, it comes with little plastic pedals. What? I had no idea. I would have rode it like that for a bit. Whoa. Okay, rad. Thank you, Canyon. More reason to love you guys. All right, accessories. So, I got some accessories with the bike because, um, Again, I'm so used to the world of BMX, you know, everywhere we would go, every skate park we would ride, we, you know, just brought our backpacks full of everything we would ever need from, you know, our protective gear to our, um, you know, our helmets and our, our camera gear and so on. So I'm so used to having everything with me at all times. So it's kind of a trip knowing that I'll be on long rides, long ways from home and I won't have any of that stuff with me. All right, let's put that down for a second. Throw the front wheel on, I'm thinking. We'll do front wheel first. Leave that right there. Get all this stuff out, and you already know I'm popping these darn reflectors off as soon as possible. DT Swiss wheels. Pull this little guy out for the brakes. Slide the through axle in. And we have a front wheel. Get that snug. So yeah, the headset situation, um, kind of the reason I didn't do it is because, you know, I watched some of the videos online and it mentions doing the headset on the ground and, and getting it lined up before the wheel's on, but I am so used to doing it with the wheel on that I was like, I'll just, I'll just wait till after. So um, additionally, you know, the seat, I didn't uh, tighten up too much because I'm, I'm sure there'll be some, uh, some issues with that wanting to get the sizing right and, and so on so um yeah that's all get that thing out of my face sorry next up we're gonna do the back wheel all right that's back on oh my gosh so we gotta unlock this booger all right let's weave this guy whoa all right come on now nailed it little crooked all right that's the bike all right slide it on through and we have ourselves oh yeah German engineering baby I got a lot of grease on my hands I still need to put my pedals on damn assembling this thing was way quicker than I thought it was gonna be okay sorry had to take a quick break grab some pedals these were the pedals recommended to me this is the PD M8100. Um, my buddy Avery said that this is like the go-to bomb-proof pedal for um, for gravel stuff. So that's what we went with. Let's get him freaking on there. Damn, this is really exciting. This is also my first set ever in my life. 28 years old, first set of clipless pedals. So uh, again, don't know if I should be excited or nervous or or both. So obviously, consulting a lot of friends. And uh, I don't know if they're gonna watch this. Totally understandable if not. And thank you guys for all the recommendations. This has been hugely helpful. And I owe you guys, I owe you lunch next time I'm in Colorado. That's for damn sure. So many pieces from shoes to helmets to, of course, bikes, wheels, um, getting set up tubeless, which I'm hoping to do, you know, in the coming, coming days or even maybe the next week or two. There's just so many variables. And again, not to keep harping on it, but I, uh, coming from BMX, it's like, Everything's so simple. You know, you put a pair of Vans on and you go ride your darn bike and you bring everything with you to the skate park and, you know, putting your bike together takes, I mean, this doesn't take long. I imagine from scratch putting one together would take ages. You know, a full complete custom build on a BMX is like, you can put a BMX bike together in an hour 
especially once you get good at it, you know? We would travel and, you know, uh, a few times me and like my buddy Murphit would travel and we'd time ourselves like how fast can we get this done and how fast can we get our bikes wrapped up in our bike bags and I think we could do it in like nine minutes. It was pretty insane. So I imagine the world of road and gravel is much different. Not I imagine, I know it is now. Let's flip this thing over and let's just get a view of, uh, of the bike. Let's get a view of this thing done. There's still a couple things. I gotta get the battery in and uh, gotta get everything tightened up, but I just kinda wanted to make this fun video. Oh my God. Oh, and don't let me forget, I need to take the reflectors off this damn thing. There ain't no darn way. Holy crap, I just got so excited. Kinda just wanted to make a fun little video, kind of explaining like what my goals are with this thing and just shoot the shoot the crap while I build it. It's been a while since I've built a bike, so went with the gray colorway, you know, gotta keep it murdered out, gotta keep it pretty dark, but yeah, this is the Grail CFSL uh, with the SRAM uh, Axis or AXS. We're fully electric, that's kind of crazy too, but I'm excited to dive into that. Anyways, I got some stickers to take off, I got some reflectors to take off, but kind of just want to make this fun little video. Um, of me getting this thing going. And uh, I'm really, really jazzed to get my first ride on it. Definitely be recording that. I know I'm going on a ride this weekend with, with Bill. Um, we'll try to get some miles in, but if you're in the Nashville area and you wanna shred, let's freaking shred. If you're in Colorado and uh, you wanna shred while I'm back home, let's shred. If you're in Texas, I'm there a lot, let's shred. Regardless, um, I would love to hear more from the folks on YouTube who also shred. If you uh, have any cool tips or tricks on on riding, um, from you know fitness trackers that you recommend to shoes, helmets, all that stuff. I have shoes coming, but um, I always like to hear your recommendations. Um, I definitely need a new helmet, and um, yeah, damn, I'm just really excited. If you've taken the time to watch, hit subscribe. Follow the follow the journey. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, I'll see you on the first ride video. Peace guys.